guys Jill here and I know it's been a while since I've actually done a video um, so I want to show you the little bit of things that I got and um, kind of a bit of a life update March was really a trying month for us and we made it through and everything's great but we were going to tile and paint our entire house and the contractor told us you know have everything ready and um, so we tore out all our carpet and tile and fixed all the holes in the walls that were bothering us and we waited <laughs> and um, need I tell you he never did what he said he was going to do he tiled over the course of a month our living room and our kitchen and then just left us um, kind of holding the ball so um, my husband has learned how to tile and he's finishing up our bedroom um, so we are pretty much living at one room in the house, which is now a partial studio, partial bedroom, cat area. We do a lot in this room. So that was the first thing. Then, um, unfortunately we lost one of our kittens. Um, many of you know, we got three kittens. They were special needs, um, one was born with spinal bifida. We, we lost him quite some time ago. And then the other one just had digestive issues. And it turns out she had a liver shunt, um, which means everything was bypassing and not getting cleaned out. And so um, that was Kitty Purry. I'm going to post a really short video of her, and um, it's really cute. So um, that was, you know, trying. And then I had to um, have my gallbladder removed. It was an emergency emergency surgery, and um, that was kind of a hard one. I'm still trying to recover from that one. So, um, on a good note, my boys got an apartment, and they're living together and being brothers and arguing. <laughs> so, um, and that's my my sons who are 19 and almost 21. I feel so old. So, um, I did have a nice visit in March with Janet from Club Posh and, um, that's the video that I posted and I managed to pick up a few items and, um, while I was recovering. So let me show you those items. Thanks for listening to me whine. Um, sometimes, you know, it just, it gets crazy. So, I went to Michael's and I picked up one of these little birds and it was the only one I could find <clears throat> and he was like 60% off so I think he was two dollars and I want to someday try to make my own of these um, I also picked up a few more of the eye top the bigger ones they're hard to find and um, they're on clearance for 99 cents each oh wait I picked up three <laughs> every time I go to Michael's I pick up one um, they had stamps and a lot of the dollar fifty two dollar items, um, half price and fifty cents. So I got this little dog. It's Mary Inglebright, and I don't know if you can see, but he's got his arms crossed and sticking out his tongue like he's you know fake upset. And then these were fifty cents too. And um, these are I think oh out of the blue. Um, and I have the two other blue ones. So that was a good find. And then twine. They have both kinds of twine for 50 cents. So these and the one on the little spool. And I'm almost out of my red. So glad I found that. Um, that. These I got at the beginning of the month. And again, these were like under $2. And they're from that recollection set that is so obviously prima because <laughs> I've been eyeing those and then I had some kind of coupon so I think I used a 50% and my husband used 50% but these were normally the $1.50 items and I finally picked up one of those keys mine I didn't see them for the longest time and now I see them and then I got a mixed media pad of paper it's nice and thick and I'd been wanting to try it. And it was early in the month when Strathmore was half price. And, oh, and then these. I got the little sprays. 
Um, I used the half price coupons, so they were $1.50. I'm going to make some little faux prima nests and use these as the eggs. And I might use them as flower centers too. Um, at Joann's, these were 50 cents. I think this was Joann's. Might have been Michael's. Um, but I just thought they're fun shapes and I could put some white on them and make them look really worn. And then um, I picked up a magazine. It was from like November, but it came with these fairy bell stamps, which I had never been able to get my hands on, and I really like birds, as you all know. And then like a half stack of the fairy bell collection. And um, again, I used a 50% off coupon. So the magazine in and of itself was $5. And I was, <clears throat> the, the worst part is of my surgery is, um, that I couldn't come home because there was dust everywhere and we had no flooring. So I stayed at my father's hotel, which is where my boys work. And um, it's like really close to Joanne's. I didn't really feel up to much. But at the end of my recovery, before we came home, we did go over to Joanne's. But um, when we were still up there, I didn't have much to work with. So I thought that this was perfect. I picked that up so I could work with this paper and um, I also picked up the 8x8 Menagerie from Tim Holtz and then I got sweet oh no this isn't what I got darn it I got the botanical tea I somehow grabbed this anyway I got the botanical tea stack um, I already showed you guys this one and so I had those to work with, and <clears throat> I ordered the Home Shopping Network and a Griffin die and folder set. And so this is a card, and again, sorry about the lighting, that I made with the dies. And I don't have them all out, but they're really cool. And <clears throat> the Botanical Tea Stack I ordered from all my usual your scrapbook supply she's always so fast and I ordered the prima dolls and I have been making dolls and I'll show you that in another video and I intend to make a second book um, because there's a whole bunch of dolls this this last round I got both um, batches I got the here they are um, <clears throat> but like I said this room is just not organized to say the least but um yeah I was working on all the dolls there it is the botanical tea beautiful stack and um this was the fairy bell that I used um then at Dollar Tree I got the little eggs and um I've been seeing a whole bunch of you have been getting sequins at the Dollar Tree if any of you would be willing to pick those up for me um, I think there's like six sets of them. I cannot find the pastelli sequins anywhere. So if you have a Dollar Tree and it's nearby, I would happily PayPal you the money for the sequins as well as the shipping. So if you could look, I'd really appreciate that. Um, cause they're, they're all sold out like pretty pink posh, lawn fawn. Um, or if you know of a source of like a mixed assortment, of the light and iridescent clear sequins I'd appreciate that so there you have it I also did pick up some felt from Walmart and it's $3.97 and I'm sure that will be going clearance which is um, gonna be an even better deal but I again I haven't been shopping that much so I will come back pretty soon with um, a video of some of the dolls and also I got a birthday package from Terry who's paper lover and so I'll show you that so thanks for stopping by have a great day